know, it's it's a dream you have when you're playing basketball. Like when I played my first six, seven, eight years in the league, I was considered at that time one of the better players in the league. I made the All Star team in the six straight years. I made the All NBA team three second team three years. So my peers recommend. Uh, recognized my talents, uh, newspaper people who voted recognized my talents at that time. And you, you, you feel and begin to feel that when you retire, the next great thing is going to be induction into the Hall of Fame. When it doesn't happen in, in a reasonable amount of time, it's very disappointing. And you wonder why, you know, you question the reason why. Because every one of your peers that, that you have relationships with, the newspaper or television people that you have relationships with, they look at you and shake their head and say, I have no idea where you should be. So it was frustrating for a while, um, but now I'm very happy and charmed that it happened. Why I'm still here to be able to enjoy it with my family. Jim McDermott, who was the head coach at that time, and the fellow by the name of Artie Wilkins was the freshman coach. And in those years, you could only play, you couldn't play in four years. You played play freshman basketball, and then you went on to play varsity ball. So, just before school started, I got a call from Jimmy McDermott to offer me a scholarship to, to go there. And I, I told him I had to think I probably was going to go anyway. But he gave me a scholarship. And I played freshman ball, and I, I, set, I guess I set a new freshman record, you know, for points and stuff like that. And then I would look forward to it, you know, to my varsity, playing practically for gym. You know, Iona mainly was a day school, a day, a day, a day school at that time. I lived in Long Island, commuted back and forth to school every day. Uh, my father gave me a 1939 DeSoto to use to go to school. And of course, going, and during basketball season, getting home at 7 o'clock at night, you know, in Long Island, and doing his work, book work, and then driving back home. But I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed going there. I had a great rapport with Brother Loftus, who was the president at the time, and Brother McKenna, who was the, the dean. And uh, my experience there was nothing but great.